and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi from Gigi's Canvas and today I'm going to show you how to recreate this super smoky purple eye. Perfect for a special event or a party or whatever you want it to be. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime there's a new video in my channel. Thank you so much again for joining us and if you want to learn how to get this look, then go ahead and stay tuned and keep on watching. Mwah! All right, let's get started. Um, today I want to be playing with a little bit of color. I feel like I've been staying super neutral, so I need some color in my eyeballs. I have a few palettes here that I'm gonna be playing around. I picked the uh, Color Rain Queen of Hearts palette and the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. To start off, I'm going to prime my eyes and just, you know the deal. I'm gonna be using MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and a little brush. I'm just going to prime. To set that with a little bit of powder. I'm going to apply some shadow shields. I've shown you guys before. These right here, I got them from Amazon just because I already have my base down. And I don't want any fallout under my eye. Before we go into any color, I want to start off by applying a little bit of a, a wash of color to the crease so that when we go in with the brighter shades, we're all blended in. I'm gonna use my Morphe M504 brush. From the Color Rain palette, I'm going to take the shade Royal Prerogative right here and I'm just gonna apply that all over the, the um, crease just for some transition. Now going into the ABH palette, the modern, modern Renaissance, I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is a love letter, and I'm gonna apply that to the crease as well. This palette has quite some fallout, but I don't really mind. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna be working that in the out of corner and up towards the crease. Blending it, applying more, blending it in. You know the drill. I'm going to switch to my Sigma E25 brush and work that towards the inner part of my eye. That same color, I'm still working with that same shade. I'm gonna take my Sigma E40 brush with no product and just try to blend that crease color a little bit more until. I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, single shadow in the shade Violet and my Morphe E17. And I'm going to Apply this towards the outer corner of my eye. So we're incorporating some purples and pinks all into one for some depth. Okay, so just on the outer corner of the eye, I placed an order from Ulta and Sephora. I already got my Sephora order. Um, I have like the Two day shipping on that. I love that. But Ulta takes forever. So as soon as I get my shipment from Ulta, I will do a mini haul for you guys. I didn't buy a lot of things, but I did take advantage of the VAV Rouge from Sephora and I bought a few things. So I wanted to share with you guys. But of course, once I get them, I take Lady Ship from the Coloring Palette. And Try to blend that purple out a little bit. Just like that. I'm taking a little bit of Princess right here and I'm going to blend this out a little bit more. Just don't want it to be too harsh, but it looks like we're going for a blowout look, so. 
I'm gonna take a flat little brush in this shade right here from the coloring palette, which is called Crown. I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And blend that out. Going back to that purple from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Going to apply that back again to the outer corner. And no, we don't have any concealer. We need some concealer, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna take some concealer. This one is the Tarte Shade Tape in light medium. Grab a little bit of that concealer. I'm going to place it I'm, I'm going to do it a little bit higher than my normal crease just because I want more lid space to work with. And then taking my finger, I'm going to just rub this on the edge of that concealer and that shadow to blend it a little bit and diffuse it so it's not so harsh. Take any tiny brush and that purple violet by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to go on top of that concealer of the cut crease just to make it more defined. Going back into the Sigma E25 and the color um, Love Letter, I'm going to try to diffuse that concealer a little bit better. Now taking this single shadow by color pop in the shade Outer Luck, it's just like a neutral pink tone shade. I'm going to apply that to the entire half of the lid here. And I'm just going to pat it down. Pat, pat, pat. I'm gonna take a black shadow. This one is by Makeup Geek in the shade Corrupt. It's Morphe G18. And I'm going to intensify the outer corner of my eye. So I'm just applying it right there. I love this black shadow. You can leave it like that at liner, but I want some sparkles. I'm gonna go in with my Stila Magnificent Metal in the color Kitten Karma. These are so good. It's like a of these these are liquid eyeshadows this one is one of my favorite ones and it applies so good to the eye so i'm going to go ahead and take this brush this one will do morphe m250-0 it's like a liner brush and i'm going to define that top of the crease a little bit more so i'm going to take it with this brush I'm gonna go ahead and apply some liner and lashes and I'll be right back. For lashes today, I'm gonna be using these by Cherry Lashes and the style Berkeley. I've used them before, so that's why they look like that. I'm gonna pop these on. I'm going to take these little thingies out. Boom. Boom. All right, so now it's time to work on the lower lash line. So I'm just going to apply some of the same colors under the lash line to match everything together. I'm going to take a pencil brush and this color right here, Love Letters, by the uh, Modern Renaissance palette, and then run that all over underneath my lash line. So like that. And I am bringing it all the way into the inner corner for some drama. The flat definer brush, this is the Morphe 432. 
I'm going to kind of tight line a little bit under the eyes. I'm going to take that violet color by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to run that closest to the lash line. Just like that. Apply some liner on the waterline. This is the Art and CN in black. Just going to run that through the water. And that is it for the eyes so far. Now I'm gonna move on to the face. Um, let's warm up this face. I'm going to use my Urban Decay bronze, beached bronzer in <laughs> bronzed. And it looks like this. It's more of like a, a cool tone bronzer. I'm going to warm up my face. And to contour, I'm just gonna go into my Hula bronzer uh, I know I'm hitting pan but that's coming in the mail as well and then my morphe m437 to contour just going to define those cheeks the jawline and with some powder I'm just gonna clean out that contour Go into this palette by Too Faced, this Love Flush, and I'm going to take this shade right here. It's Baby Love. It's more like a, a neutral blush. I'm just going to hit my cheekbones, about all the powder. For today's highlighter, I'm going to be going into this Jouer. Citrine, 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 citrine. Yeah, it's this one right here. I'm gonna be going in with my Borfi Y14, and I'm going to apply it everywhere. <clears throat> to my nose, tiny little bit in the bridge of my nose. I have two shades here. I have this purpley one. It is Queen B by Too Faced. I feel like it would complement the purple vibes really well. Or should I just go for a neutral? No. I think Queen B by Too Faced is gonna be it. So let's go on that one. Oh yeah. And to set everything in place, I'm going to go with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. If I am going out, this is the setting spray that I go for. It just makes everything last all day, all night long. So I'm just going to take a quick shower in this. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I love this dramatic look for going out or whatever you want to do. I think it's super beautiful. Um, but yeah, so if you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you are notified anytime there's a new video. And remember that the world is your canvas, so make it pretty. Mwah. Bye.